Hi, welcome to Rosie's. Today we're going to make a sterling silver ring with a stone cab on it. We're going to do the step-by-step -step handmade process of putting this ring together. We hope you like this tutorial and if you do, subscribe and hit the like button on the video. And be sure to visit our website at rosiesterlingsilver.com. Let's get over the bench and get started. We're going to be using this Jasper cab today to make this ring. We're going to set the ring with some sterling silver bezel and then put it onto a piece of 22 gauge backing plate. For the band we'll be using two pieces of 12 gauge wire. We'll be using hard, medium and easy solder, charcoal block and a torch. And we can't forget the ring bar in making our ring. And this set of pliers is extremely helpful in forming the band. The first step we're going to take is take our bezel wire and form it tightly around the stone. Once that's completed, we're going to mark it where the two intersect and then we'll cut it to length. The next step will be to solder our bezel closed. I use my third hand and the tripod here. We're going to get these edges lined up. Once the bezel's lined up, we're going to solder it closed. A little flux. For the first step, we're going to use hard solder. We've positioned the solder directly over the seam of the bezel. We're going to start with drying the flux. Once the flux is dry, we'll solder the joint closed. Take our bezel and make sure it fits the stone properly. This is the basis of our build. Very critical at this point that the bezel fits. I'm going to clean our backing plate with a scruffy pad. This will be the backing for our cab. We're going to stamp this with our hallmark and our sterling silver stamp. Now you can see our sterling silver stamp and our rosy insignia on the backing plate. We're going to take and flex this backing plate. We'll carefully move the bezel over to it. Then we need to add some embezzlement. I set a row of beads on the side of the ring. These are made by melting silver scrap. We're going to use medium silver to connect the bezel to the backing plate and connect this row of beads. For the bezel, we're going to put the silver inside. We'll set the silver solder in four places around the inside and the rest of the solder put alongside the beads on the outside. We're going to use our soldering tripod and heat this piece from the back. We're going to dry the flux out slowly from the bottom. Bring in more heat. As the flux starts to clear, the solder will flow. Once we're done with the solder, we'll inspect the piece to make sure the bezel is completely soldered on and the beads are all soldered in. And we'll cool the piece in some water. Once we've cooled it, we're going to put it in the pickle pot. We're going to take our two pieces of wire and build the band while our top piece is in the pickle pot soaking. We'll put a slight bend both ends of this. So we have a piece that looks like this when we're done but symmetrical. This is going to form the band. We'll use a ceramic block because it's flatter. We're going to position these together. We'll flex them and solder these two to form the ring shank. This operation will be done with hard solder. Place the hard solder between the wires. We'll dry the flux. We'll keep the torch moving the whole time. Once the flux is dry, we'll bring the torch in a little closer and apply more heat until the solder flows. Here goes our solder. We flowed all the way down and this joint is completely sealed. We'll cool this off, dry it off, and now we'll form our ring band with this. We'll roll this much closer than needs be, much tighter. Then we use our ring bar. We'll slide it down to the proper size. So we're lined up at the seven. We'll bring the ends of our band around. Once we formed our band on the ring bar, we're gonna cut off our excess wire here. And this will be our ring band. This is our bezel cut back from the pickle pot. All the flux has been removed. Our next step will be take a jeweler saw and cut this out to shape. Once 
once our basic shape is cut out, we're gonna use a sanding disc and a file to clean up the edges of the bezel cup. By looking down on the bezel cup, I'm watching this line right here. I'm trying to remove all the excess material so we have a smooth cup when we're done. Now that we've taken the majority of the excess metal around the edge, we're gonna move to a silicon carbide wheel and finish the cleanup process. This is our cleaned up bezel cup and it's ready for the ring shank to be set on it now. Our next step is to flux the back of here, set this up on the charcoal block and we'll solder the two together. Clean the back of our bezel cup with our scruffy pad. We'll flex the ring band and put the two together. We're gonna to take it to the buffer and clean up the back and any place that we couldn't get once the band is soldered onto it. We're gonna apply flex the base of the bezel cup, line up our ring shank, apply solder. We're gonna solder one end at a time. For this step, we're using easy solder. Again, we'll dry the flux using a reduced flame. Patience here for the flux to dry. Once this dries, we'll move the flame in. That end soldered, we'll turn it around, we'll do the same on the other end. Now we have one ring. We're gonna quench this in some water and then send it to the pickle pot, take a nap. This is the ring straight out of the pickle pot. It has a real dull silver color to it. We're gonna take it at this point and before we set the stone, we're gonna polish the silver, clean the inside of the band up, then we'll set the stone. Now that we have the ring polished up, we're gonna set the stone. We use a piece of dental floss across the ring then we set the stone in, and the dental floss will allow us to take the stone in and out and inspect the setting. So at this point, we'll move the dental floss out and we'll set the stone. With the stone firmly seated in here, we use a bezel rocker and start closing the bezel. As the bezel starts closing, we're just looking for spots that are sticking out like this, and we'll work the bezel in. One side will push the other side open, so keep working around so the whole bezel's laying down. Once that's done, we need a burnishing tool. Burnishing tools come in lots of sizes and shape. That's what fits you. So you can see these little gaps along here. This burnisher, as we scrub the stone in, in this motion all the way around the stone, we'll bring that in completely closed. You can see how it started to smooth. This is still rough, and this is starting to lay down smooth against the stone. We'll burnish around this stone two or three times till this top edge of the silver has disappeared. When we've completely burnished this in, the edge of the silver should look very thin along here. Now the ring's ready for its final polish. We'll take all the marks off of it. This is our finished product of making a ring today. I hope maybe you've gained some tips or tricks in making your own jewelry. Be sure to like us and subscribe to our YouTube video. And we really appreciate it if you have any comments or suggestions on future videos for us. We have a great website. Be sure to visit it. Thank you much.